show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy. I am back from my holidays. I still haven't had a chance to watch Stomping Grounds. And here we are straight away with the predictions for Extreme Rules. Now, I've kind of been a bit out of the loop, obviously, where I haven't been in the country. I've kind of been keeping an eye on things, and I've seen bits and pieces from the last couple of weeks. So, I'm kind of going into this a bit blind. Therefore, this might be the opportunity for you guys to out-predict me by leaving your predictions in the comments. And you can get yourself one of these key rings sent to you completely free of charge. This is the Money in the Bank one. But obviously you will get an Extreme Rules one for beating me this time around. Anyone that does will go into a kind of a random draw and one name will be pulled out. So, that out of the way, let's get on to my predictions. The first match we're looking at is probably going to be on the pre-show. Cruiserweight match between Drew Gulak and Tony Nice. Not really too much to say with this. As you guys know, I don't really look at 205 Live much. I can't really see them taking the belt off of Drew Gulak after he's only just really won it. So, I'm going to go with a Drew Gulak retention here. On to the other match that quite possibly could be on the pre-show. Hell, they might both be on the pre-show. The Raw Tag Team title match. The Revival defending against the Usos. Obviously, the Revival are kind of part of Shane's little gang. And they seem to be, for the time being at least, trying to keep that as strong as is possible. Maybe it will all kind of come crumbling down come SummerSlam. So, for now, I think we're going to see the Revival retaining the belts here and walking away with the win. And on the flip side of things, over with the SmackDown Tag Team titles, we have got, obviously, the champions Daniel Bryan and Rowan defending against Heavy Machinery and The New Day. I still think it is a bit too soon for Heavy Machinery to be getting the belts. But I don't think they're going to be involved in the finish here. I do think we're going to see new champions. I think it's going to be time for the New Day to kind of help re-legitimise the SmackDown tag team division. And also we get that nice moment of all of the members of New Day with some gold. That is providing Kofi Kingston wins, of course. But this match will come on beforehand, so for the time being at least, we will have all three guys with some gold. Staying with SmackDown, we have the women's title match. Bailey defending in a handicap match against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Now, I know we still have this stupid super shake-up wild card, whatever the hell it is. But I think giving the SmackDown belt to Raw superstars is just going to make things really, really awkward. And I also think that we potentially might see a Sasha Banks return. Um, she is being advertised on the posters and things in Toronto for SummerSlam. So I guess a return here kind of builds up to that. Maybe she will then face off against Bailey. Maybe she'll instantly turn against her. Or they will kind of form some kind of alliance for the time being. Who knows? But I think Bailey will walk out here with the belt. And that can set up some kind of friction one way or the other between Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. One costing the other one the match potentially. Or one upset that the other... Uh, the other one uh, gets pinned here by Bailey. Right, it's Extreme Rules, so let's have a match with an actual stipulation, shall we? Rather than a kind of straightforward type match. Let's have a last man standing match between Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Now, if Raw a couple of weeks ago is anything to go by, this should be absolutely manic. Obviously, there we didn't see a kind of overall winner as they were both taken out through the stage. And I think something similar is going to happen here. There's going to be some big spot involving the two of them. There's going to be a double down and they are both going to be counted out for the 10 and we won't see a winner. Back to straight singles matches here for Extreme Rules. This time we have Alistair Black's debut pay-per-view match. Well, kind of debut solo 
after WrestleMania pay-per-view match anyway. And here's facing off against Cesaro. This one, pretty straightforward. Black has to win this, doesn't he? Simple as that. Cesaro doesn't need the win. Black definitely does. Hopefully this will be a very, very good match, but a one and done, and then Black can move on to a proper feud. Let's have another normal singles match. For the United States title, Ricochet defending against AJ Styles yet again. This seems a bit weird, this match, to be honest. I, I don't think this is necessary. Putting my own kind of little fantasy bookers hat on. What I probably would have done is when Ray came back this week, instead of having him completely annihilated by Lashley, he could have challenged Ricochet for the belt he never really lost. They could have had a very, very nice match that gets thrown out by the club attacking both of them. Setting up potentially a tag team match between Ricochet and Rey Mysterio. Facing off against Gallows and Anderson. With Gallows and Anderson then winning because of obviously having the third man in AJ Styles. But we don't have that match. We have what is essentially a match we saw on Raw a couple of weeks ago. Twice. I don't really see as AJ Styles should be fitting into the US title scene. Hopefully he can elevate himself back up into the universal title picture. Ricochet has only just won the belt. Do not take it off of him already. This has to be a Ricochet win. Oh, now we have a no-holds-barred match. Finally, a match with some actual extra stipulation to it. Roman Reigns and The Undertaker in a tag match against Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. It's Roman and Taker. Surely they have to win this, right? Possibly with Shane causing Drew to get pinned, which would give Drew some kind of reason to then want to get back at The Undertaker, because that is the rumoured match for SummerSlam. He could then hopefully beat The Undertaker and get quite a lot out of that. But here I definitely see the win going to Roman and Taker. And we have another straight singles match everyone. For the WWE title, Kofi Kingston defending against Samoa Joe. Again we've got this whole Raw guy challenging for a Smackdown title. I know Kofi is on Raw a lot and the WWE title isn't branded to smack down in the same way that the Universal title is branded to Raw because of the colour of it, but eh. Although Samoa Joe really probably could do with this win, I don't think they're going to take the belt off of Kofi Kingston until SummerSlam. It was a big thing him winning it, I think it needs to be a big thing him losing it, and I think that needs to be at a big four pay-per-view. I know Heyman has teased a Brock cash in, but I don't think that's going to happen on Extreme Rules. It could happen potentially at SummerSlam after Kofi or Seth defend their title successfully, or I think it might possibly even happen on the first SmackDown on Fox. But for now, Kofi retaining his belt here, and there we will have the visual of all three members of the New Day with some gold. And lastly, we have that Weird intergender tag team match. Winner take all, last chance, whatever the hell they're branding it as. Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch taking on Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans for the Universal title and the Raw Women's title. And if either Seth or Becky lose, then both of them get stripped of their belts. And if Corbin or Evans lose, that's basically those two done with the title scene for the time being. Again, this has to be belt retention here for Seth and Becky. They can't lose to these guys. Lacey and Corbin just aren't ready for the belts that they're going for. Hopefully this will kind of draw a line in the sand. Corbin can move away from Seth. Lacey can move away from Becky and into another feud with somebody else and actually win it. She shouldn't have been pushed to the title this quickly. And hopefully this will kind of end both of these feuds. So there we go, they are my predictions for Extreme Rules. As I said at the top of this video, please leave your predictions in the comments below. And if you outpredict me, you could win that little keyring sent over to you completely free of charge. 
We did have a winner for WrestleMania and Money in the Bank. Unfortunately for Stomping Grounds, there were no comments left for your own predictions. So hopefully we have a better turnout this time. But until next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.